fashion insider friends what is up this is the fashion crimes podcast where i cover all things fashion style shopping style inspiration and interview incredible small business owners who are changing the fashion industry for the better yes i'm the best friend you never knew you needed and the poster child for fashion over 40 and i mean way after 40. say it with me fashion and style are your friends not your enemies I'm Holly Cates, your favorite personal stylist, and let's keep it real, the only Holly you need to know. Turn it up, because I got a lot to say, and I am super stoked you're here. Hello, what's up, everybody? How's it going? This is Holly Cates, your favorite personal stylist, coming to you live from New York Fashion Week 2022. OMG, it is only halfway through and I feel like we are at the Super Bowl. (laughs) And of course, with me today, as always, in my heart, in my soul, next to me, literally in my new handbag, my bestie, my best gay, my personal stylist. What's up, Nolan? How's it going? It is. Well, it's going, clearly. (laughs) Um, (laughs) You know. Busy, 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 busy. You are so important that you're getting yelled at from every direction, that you're being pulled in a million directions. I'm that's true. I I, listen, it's all right. It's that's what happens when you're popular. I I don't know what that's like. I'm just saying, super proud of you. You've been doing amazing work this week. Tell us what you've been doing this week, girl. Go for it. Well, it, the shows are here, and so I have I have a client um, who's who's pretty fabulous, and she, you know, we've been going to all the shows together. So Candace Bushnell and I have been running around town, the original Carrie Bradshaw, and um, we've been running around town, going to some fun shows, and it's just been such a blast. I mean, it's been very busy and very stressful, but it's been really, really great. It's been great to work with some really amazing designers and, you know, get to style some really amazing pieces. And, you know, it's, it's been fun. It's kind of a fun time. It's kind of like when you're sort of drunk and you get on a Ferris wheel, you're like, Ooh, this is fun, but, (laughs) but I'm not sure. Is this a great idea? Is this a good idea? (laughs) Is this a good idea? Exactly. So for anyone who's not familiar, Candace Bushnell, of course, is the original creator of Sex in the City and the movies and the TV show and the books and, 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 and she is lovely. We spent one night at a party together and at a show together. I have been very blessed to be included for one of the shows. Anyway, we went, started off the week. We went to, what did we see first, Nolly? I can't remember. Well, you saw, you saw Proenza Schooler oh, first. Oh, Proenza Schooler, yes. At the Brandt Foundation, which looked fabulous. It was so great. I got my picture in Getty Images. It's already posted on Instagram if anyone hasn't seen it already. So that was super fun. Nolan dressed me for that. Duh. I had on this peach kind of, I guess it is tweed, but sort of fake tweed dress with an exaggerated hip. So it was really cool. A beautiful Nora Moore coat with a detachable fur collar and my Jimmy Choo gold boots. So let's talk about these gold boots for a minute. They go past your ankle and they have these separate leg pieces that you can get on. Yeah. A lot of Crisco and baby oil later, I got them off. So it was all good. Yeah. I mean, they're great boots, but they're, they're a labor of love. Yes, (laughs) Yes, <laughs> they, are. they are absolutely a labor of love. So I They're jumped, a workout. Yeah, yeah. That was the second workout of the day. So I went from that to I uh, met um, Nolan and Candace at Christian Cowan. Next level. Tell us about the show. Well, I mean, it was a fabulous show. I mean, I, I love Christian Cowan. I think he's so fun. I think, you know, he has really, really fun shows and we've been before and his shows have always, like the clothes have always been cool but this time the clothes were incredible and you know the venue he chose to show on the um the top of one world trade at night and so the view was really really amazing i mean the lighting in there was crazy the show was so beyond spectacular it was just really cool and so we actually got to go he had like a very very small little intimate cocktail party afterwards at the edition hotel 
you know, we got to like chat with him and, you know, really, you know, meet him and talk about the clothes, which was really amazing. It was a really, really good time. And then where did we go from there? Well, I want to tell the story about my little mishap where I thought I was going to the elevator. So I called Nolan and he's like, we're already outside. And I said, what do you mean? He goes, we just, you know, because there's a bum rush to the elevator because there's only two elevator banks. So I said, okay, well, let me, we took some pictures and I said, let me get to the elevator. So I'm in line, I'm in line, I'm in line. Everyone's pushing, pushing, pushing. I finally get through and I see all the makeup stations and I'm like, hold on. I thought I was at the elevator. I totally pushed my way backstage thinking that I was going to the elevator. Okay, girl. Anyway, so I got to see all the models. I got to get my picture taken with Christian Cowan. He had no idea who I was, had no question that I was backstage. And I got to meet Tan France from Queer Eye. Yay for me. (laughs) Oh, my God. You're too much. She cannot. So anyway, I sent Nolan a picture and he's like, I can't. I can't. We've been standing outside for 20 minutes. And then you're backstage getting your picture with Christian Cowan. (sighs) Anyway, that was fun. We had a very good time. The clothes were insane. The models were like total actresses. Tell them about the model that tripped and fell. Yeah, one girl went down. <laughs> oh, well, she got up. It was fine. And then she threw her um, camera. Oh, she, she threw her shoes off. Uh, one of her shoes fell off and she like went, like took the other one off and like made a whole thing about like throwing it like whatever. But she accidentally hit the photographer with it. So <laughs> that was hilarious. We were so far down at the end, we didn't see. But, I mean, the clothes are next level. I can't even begin to describe to you the clothes. The ball gown that looks like a bra that's attached to this giant ball skirt. I mean, it's it's insane. That was just one of the looks that I loved. But, Noli, do you think I could pull off one of those dresses? I mean, I think you should have him make a couple things and you'll just see what happens. And he was lovely, by the way. He was English. He was lovely. He was super sweet. And he told me to email him. He's like, email me, blah, blah, blah. I was like, um, okay, I hope you don't regret that, I, that you said that. Anyway, moving on. So we went out that night. We went to his reception, which was delicious. We had be- beautiful food and gorge- in a gorgeous room. What building were we in, Nolan? Um, the Times Square edition. I've never been there. It was so it's nice. It's gorgeous. And I was actually, funnily enough, I was there the night before for the Daily Front Row 20th anniversary party. So I was oh. there two nights in a row. Okay, girl. And funnily enough, I actually I actually um, invited the same guy two nights in a row, which was really funny. He's like, weren't we here last night? I was like, yes, <laughs> actually. I was like, see, there's so much variety in the fashion world. Yes, that was really fun. So I got to meet Nolan's new friend. So he, he was lovely, by the way. Anyway, so we left there, went to a couple parties. And then the next day, Saturday. Yeah, so Saturday, you went to, I started my morning. Our fabulous friend Allison came and did some glam for Candace, which was fabulous. And then I dressed her and we went to Pat Bow, which obviously, you know, as anybody knows, if you have talent at a show, it is a bit of a clusterfuck. It was very stressful, but it was it was great. I'm glad I did it. I'm very glad I did it. Um, the Papo show was fabulous. The venue was amazing. I went to Tiffany Brown, which was at a restaurant called Slate. And I think she's a newer designer, but a lo- she did a lot of leather. Um, and we got to sit front row. And Mary's beautiful friend Cindy. She had what is describe what she had on Nolan. I have a video of her. She she had like a tool creation of um from Tomo Koizumi that was very, very cool. She looked like a cupcake. It was the cutest thing I've ever seen. She said, This is my social distancing outfit. I can't even believe I got in next to her, but I sat next to her. We saw Tiffany Brown. Um, Nolan was at Pat Bow. So many things I want, so little time. And then I came to meet you and our friend, our from Michelle. Yes. Fabulous. Fabulous. Um, I, I came to meet you because I was a little, I was, I'm not going to lie. I was a little fuming after the Pat Bosch show because I just, you know, it's very stressful during fashion week and it's very like, people just take things personally and you just can't. Yeah. And like yeah. my thing is, is if I'm in a room with a client, especially during a show, they are my only thought and my only priority. That's it. 
So it's not personal, but I just, I don't have the capacity to think about anyone else or do anything with anybody else. It's just the way it is. And so I just, after Papo, I was just, I was exhausted emotionally. So I needed a minute and I was like, I came to find Holly. And then I went and I actually um, sat down with Cindy and Mary for a little bit, which was lovely. Cindy is one of the most glamorous women I've ever met in my life. I love it. I love, I love people who have fearless and unapologetic style. I just think it's the best thing in the world. Mm -hmm, And so mm -hmm. that she does, that she does. Yeah. And I just, and you know, she's she's just fabulous. She's, and she's so kind. So I had the best time there. And then that evening was the fabulousness that was Christian Siriano. I before have been very harsh about Siriano. I have not been a fan at all ever. And going into the show, he had a lot to make up for because the process of dressing a client with his clothes was ridiculously difficult and unprofessional. His clothes were five days late and they ended up telling me to come get them. And then they weren't ready after telling me for five days, they were going to deliver them. It was just a mess. And I was pissed. I was pissed. I was so, I was so angry. And so he had a lot to make up for. Um, The show was huge. It was in the basement of the empire state building. What was that like? It it looked like an unfinished raw space. It was huge. Mm -hmm. And his front row was stacked. You know, Drew Barrymore was there. Susan Sarandon, Alicia Silverstone, all these people. Wow. Um, and of course, they they all loved Candace. So I have the cutest picture of Jill Cargman, the actress and socialite, Samantha Barry, the editor in chief of Glamour, Fern Malice, the creator of Fashion Week and Fashion Icon, Drew Barrymore, and Candace, the five of them. Amazing. And we're actually tra- we're um, we're actively hunting down the photo. All I can find is the video but it's pretty fabulous. So that was very cool. And then the collection happened and I was so impressed. It was so good. I was so surprised at how much I loved everything. I thought, you know, it was all shades of blue, which we know I'm obsessed with blue. Anything blue I love. I love navy. There was navy latex. There was a fit and flare dress I sent to Holly, this little navy one that I was like, ah, this is you in a nutshell. I need that dress. Sorry, I need it. It was like, need that. Need that. You need it, yeah. Was it more like evening wear or was it like both? It was, it was, well, it was evening. There were suits and things, but, and there were day dresses. There were like executive dresses, but no, it was very evening centric. But, you know, Karen Elson opened the show and Coco Rocha, and it was just the drama of the ball gowns that had to have, you know, a 15 foot radius. Wow. It was so chic, the drama. And I love, you know, the diversity of the casting, you know, in his front row was, I was very happy. I got to sit with Candace and Fern and um, PC, who's a fashion icon as well. It was just, it was lovely. And, you know, I just was so surprised. And then, so I was, we were going to go to two after parties, um, but then, you know, Candace was tired and didn't know what she wanted to do. So she went home for a little bit. I went home and put the diamonds away. And then I decided, fuck it, I'm going to go to the after parties anyway. But first I met up with Mary and Cindy for a wee nibble at this place called uh, Antique Garage in Soho, which is gorgeous, but the service was terrible and they tried to kill Mary because <laughs> they kept forgetting that she's allergic to peppers. Oh so my God. then I brought her salmon and Mary's, he's like, we'll make it again. Mary's like, no, honestly, I don't trust you to make my food. Ugh, bad, bad, bad. So then I ran to uh, the Pat Bow and Tressa May party at Zero Bond, which I love Zero Bond. It's the most fabulous place to go in the city. It was a fun party. I mean, I didn't need to be there all night, but good gift bag. We love a Tresemme gift bag. Uh, we love a hair care gift bag. What was even funnier was as, as I was leaving, so Zero Bond is a members only club. As I was leaving, three people I know walked in who are all members and they all go, <gasps> Nolan. And I was like, oh my God, this is too funny. And they're like, come upstairs, come upstairs. I'm like, no, honey, I was just upstairs. I'm good. <laughs> So I then went to Christian Siriano's party at the Blonde. And it, if I had people with me, if I had friends with me, it would have been so much fun. But I was by myself because it wasn't like a cocktail pinkies up party. People were fucking dancing on the backs of the booths. Everybody was drinking. It was fabulous, but it was not something you do alone. So then I met up with Mary and Cindy. And we went to Duplex, the gay bar, which I'd never been to before. We just sat outside and drank cocktails. Love it. Love it. Love it. Love it. And, you know, our dear friend, Mary, friend of the podcast, her outfit was so stellar. She had on like these tights, but they had, how would you describe it? They had like 
baubles and 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 things they were in embellished them. types embellished but but not stones they were like 3d like toys and like tchotchkes it was and beads it was so cool and then she had on this giant train and then of course cindy you know i'm talking about the show we went to the night before um the cowan show cindy had on this headdress of ostrich feathers right and it looked like a hood but it was separate and then you know of course it goes down the runway tw- twice as she's sitting in the front row oh so elegant so elegant i don't know where you go with, with an ostrich feather hood on but you know what that's besides the point okay so yesterday nolan we went to a incredible an incredible incredible show and it was the Frederick Anderson show, which you were kind enough to invite me to. And it did not disappoint, honey. Did not. So many things I want, so little time. And yes. And listen, um, Frederick is such a, a cool person and he's very talented and he's had a very long and illustrious career in fashion and has ran several successful brands. And when he went out on his own, you know, he had a lot of people who, you know, loved him, wanted to support him, and he he brought it, you know. I remember the first outfit of his that I saw that, like, took my breath away was this sapphire blue silk pantsuit that an acquaintance of mine, Meredith, was wearing out and about. And I just said, what is this? She goes, it's Frederick. I was like, it's fabulous. It's so good. Uh, and he, you know, he packed the room. I mean, totally. It was at Moonlight Studios, which I had never been to before, which was such a gorgeous venue. The music was incredible. It was so fun. We were like dancing in the audience and I met such nice people there. I saw people I knew, but I just was like, I want that. I want that. I want that. I want that. He had this white dress with this gorgeous some kind of floral pattern on it but it was very wispy and then on the top it was kind of like a halter and he did it in a pantsuit too and I looked at Nolan and I was like Val Renewal Val Renewal oh just kidding I want that just kidding I want that he is famous for his knits is he not Nolan yeah his knits his silks and his laces he's into all that so he does these gorgeous knits that with these sweaters, with these oversized sleeves and these tiny little skirts, and then he'll put it with a pantsuit. Then he'll do an entire knit suit, which a knit jacket and a knit pant, but it's very fitted and chic. I'm not doing it justice explaining it to it. We'll post the pictures, obvi. but I mean, loving that. And I love really good structured fabric. I mean, that to me is what he has. And I love the dresses that he had. He had a couple of ball gowns, but like some beach cover up type things. He had a good variety. I mean, it was fabulous. And then afterwards, um, my friend Anna threw his after party, a cocktail party in Soho at this beautiful venue. So we popped over there, Michelle and I, for a little bit, which was, which was fun. It was nice to see everybody. And then after that... It was the Super Bowl. Which, of course, I skipped. And I went to Sergio Hudson, which was monumentally fabulous. <laughs> it was just, it was one of my favorite shows of the week for sure. It was just beyond sensational. Nolan, how are you feeling about your outfits this week thus far? Great. I wore, what did I wear the first night? First night, I wore uh, a jacket I stole from your husband. Uh-huh. Uh, a fabulous Burberry jacket, which was amazing. And then the second night I wore my Balenciaga Eiffel Tower jacket, which was... How many compliments? It was like, I had like 14 different people stop me and ask me about my jacket, which was kind of funny. I mean, it was like rhinestone embellished Eiffel Towers. And everyone's like, I love your jacket. I love your jacket. I love your jacket. No one's like beating them off with a stick. I literally was beating them with a stick. I was like, everybody get away from me. Stay away from the jacket. <laughs> oh my God. It was really funny. And you looked look sharp in your turtleneck yesterday. You do love a turtleneck. It has to be said. I love it. I love it. I'm a slut for a turtleneck. Totally. Well, actually it was really great. Oh, on Saturday. So I bought this red lace Givenchy moment and it was. Little dip in the lady pond. It was one of the best things I've ever worn. And I wore it over a white turtleneck and underneath this like sailory peacoat thing. 
It was so good. I loved every second of it. And yes. I got so many compliments. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. So many people took my picture in that outfit, loved it, loved to see it, loved to feel it. You know, I felt very popular. He was like, you can have it when I'm done. And he's like, mm, no, never mind. I'm like, I'm not going to be done. <laughs> <laughs> well, Nolan has dressed me thus far this week. I told you about my outfit that I got photographed in for Getty Images. That was exciting. And I wore that to Cowan as well for Tiffany Brown. What did I wear? I wore my sequin pants, my Sally LaPointe red sequin pants, which were a hit. Loved that. Wore that with my McQueen blazer. We also, in the midst of going to the Crosby Street Bar for cocktails and lunch, we ended up going to the streetwear show with her daughter, who is in fashion. And it was at this vintage store and this cute little kid, cutest, cutest guy, 21 years old. He was showing on the street, his streetwear brand. His name is Ian Alexander. So that was super fun. We got a free little extra show. And then yesterday I got photographed a lot. Let's be honest. Okay. Nolan picked out these pants for me, these Hellessy pants that are faux leather with fringe to the floor and my white and black Proenza coat. How many times I get my picture taken? A lot, a lot in that. Love those pants. Love them. Love it. <laughs> Love it. I'm also going to wear those pants until I die because they're so comfortable and I love them so much. How chic were those pants, Nolan? They were fun. I liked them. I mean, so. I liked them a lot. So chic. I will say my black plain bodysuit has been my savior this week. Worn it twice already because it did snow yesterday and didn't realize it was going to snow. So, and today the high is 28. Did you know that today, Nolan? I didn't. Today is going to be 28 degrees. So dress accordingly. I'm not going to a show today. What show are you doing today, Nolan? I will be going to Markarian. Very nice. Very nice. I'm not invited to that, so I won't be going to that. But you will send us the pictures, will you not? I will be sending you the pictures. I will be, but I'm not ready. You're not ready. Okay, so it sounds like you um, have a lot to do today. So what are you wearing today, Nolan? I am. Oh, actually, I have to check because I don't know what I'm in the mood for today. I have my amazing Alexander McQueen coat. Mm. I have a fabulous gold sweater that... Uh, my dear friend Jennifer created for me that I love and that needs this moment. I also have these like magenta pants. Mm, magenta pants. What shoes? These like black Zadig combat boots. Okay, girl. I have to try that because that would be really fun. I would love to wear that. I just need some super thick socks because those boots hurt like a bitch. <laughs> And also the pants are like a weird length. So I need like a tall shoe because mm-hmm, mm-hmm. otherwise it just looks like I'm wearing man capris. <laughs> I wore them in Miami with my Gucci loafers and I was like, these are so short. Well, you are tall. Well, Nolan, thanks for the recap. Are you still in bed right now? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Let's be honest. You're still in bed. Yeah, maybe a little bit. Maybe. Mm-hmm. allegedly allegedly oh i'm awful do you have one foot on the ground allegedly do you have one foot on the ground okay and you didn't even drink last night no i'm just tired you're just tired and you need a couple martinis to pep you up exactly i asked nolan i said are we eating this week and he was like no (laughs) well i'm not even starving myself i just haven't had time yeah yeah look confessions of a celebrity stylist You don't eat, you don't sleep, you get pulled in a million directions, you're expected to crawl through the snow over broken glass and hot coals. That's what you're expected to do. Nolan's come out like a champ. I'd like a champ is a strong word, but I appreciate the sentiment. Yeah, it's true. It's true. Very proud of you. And I'm waiting for you to say how fabulous I've looked this week so far. That's what I've been waiting for. Um, duh. Okay, duh. And Nolan is hilarious because especially when I wore that first outfit to Proenza, the dress, the peach dress with the brown coat and the gold boots, he doesn't say, oh, my God, you look incredible. He goes, wow, that is my best work. (laughs) I do. I do occasionally do that. And uh, I stand by that. Yeah. And look, and that's that's his 
backhanded way of saying, oh my God, you look fabulous. But you know, I get it. That, that's okay. I was loving that dress. I felt so pretty in that outfit. The coat was to die. T- Nolan is the coat to die, to die. I mean, oh, it's so good. It's to die. So good. I would have never bought anything like that. And since it's going to be 28 degrees today, um, I'm going to be wearing it today. So Nolan, thank you so much for rolling over in your bed and plugging in your microphone and talking to us today. We really appreciate the fashion insider besties are loving it. They are asking for you constantly. We appreciate your time. Thank you so much for coming on. And you know, we're going to do a part two, right? I'm just saying. I'm ready. I'm okay. ready because Mark Harry, Mark Harian today is going to be monumentally chic. The team who handles it, the designer herself, I was fortunate enough to meet her at a party a couple of weeks ago. And she's just truly one of the kindest people I've met in fashion. She's just so sweet and so fabulous. And she's just like, you don't understand. It was so cool to get to dress Candace. And I was like, of course, I'm like happy to be able to do it. And she's like, can't wait for you to see the new collection. It's the best I've ever done. And I was like, uh, you can't wait, honey. I can't wait. Mm -hmm. And the great thing about Nolan in your back pocket is he goes, you're going to wear this, you're going to wear that, and oh, we're going to get some of that. So it's so great. Well, and I told her, I said, listen, I've got people I know who I know will love your clothes and they'll come to you and, you know, she's like, well, I do bespoke. I was like, fabulous. Everyone I know loves, loves, loves a custom moment. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I still want a custom bathing suit and it makes Nolan mad because I want to spend money on that, but that's okay. We'll unpack that later. We'll unpack that later. I don't have the strength yet. (laughs) <laughs> I haven't had a martini yet, honey. Okay. Sorry. I, I just, exactly. I, wait, wait, wait for the vodka to kick in. <laughs> <laughs> well, thank you so much. You have an action packed day. I have a friend's day today. I'm going to meet my, one of my besties and then help her with her influencer campaign. So we've got a lot to do, a lot of champagne to drink. Thank you, Nolan, for sharing our, your insights and your insider info and special guest information with us. We are so excited. And I was so grateful to hang out with you and Candace the other night. Thank you so much for inviting me. Uh, Always. And we loved it. And we love you, Nolan. We love each other so much that Nolan's like, I'm going to the show. You're not invited. See you tomorrow. And I'm like, okay, girl. So we're not going to see each other today, but we are going to see each other tomorrow. We're going to see each other at 345 today. Oh, just kidding. Just kidding. We are going to see each other at 345. We have a special know. We have a special project at 345 that is under wraps at the moment. Yeah, that's what I was going to say. I didn't say anything because we can't disclose what it is. But let's just say I'm trying to get on the VIP list on a couple places. Okay. So stay tuned, my friends. This has been the Fashion Crimes Podcast. First edition of New York Fashion Week 2022. Uh, We woke Nolan up to get his ass to record. We thank you very much, Nolan. We love you, my bestie, my fairy gay mother. Duh. Thanks for penciling us in. We've got a lot more to talk about. Fashion crimes, people we saw on the street, celebs, outfits, clothes, fashion shows, people we meet, people we love. So stay tuned. Sign up for the Fashion Insider Bestie newsletter. This has been the Fashion Crimes Podcast. Please tell us what you think. Comment, share with someone you love. We love you. Talk to you soon. This has been the Fashion Crimes Podcast. We are out.